Hey there, it is Robin at Sanctuary Holistic Kitchen. Um, and if you have been by our shop within the past year or so, you'll notice that we have a lot of plants that we have outside that are grown beautifully at um, an organic grower here in Georgetown. They've been around for about 30 years. Gabriel Valley Farms. We love them so much because they get some really unique plants in. And so I wanted to sort of do a little video each week and tell you about some of the plants that we have out there that you might not be familiar with. And so I chose one of my favorites, especially for the first one today. This is Comfrey. And Comfrey is a big friend over here at Sanctuary Holistic Kitchen because we use it in a couple of our remedies that we've been making from the very beginning. Um, so Comfrey is a perennial. Um, and while it can grow in shade and full sun, here in Central Texas, it doesn't care for full sun so much. It gets a little too hot for it and wilts off quite easily. And so I actually have some growing um, underneath a tree. And as long as it gets a good amount of water and some mulch on there, it kind of takes over and goes crazy. Um, and so now is the time to plant your comfrey so that it can establish itself before we get our first freeze here. Um, and so this is a comfrey in a gallon pot. It has these long sort of um, wobbly, long blade shaped leaves. Um, and it has tiny little hairs all over it, which can irritate your skin if you're a little bit sensitive to it. Um, and so while you can find some conflicting information online about if you ingest comfrey or not, um, if you do choose to ingest it, that's something that should be done with a practitioner because it has some pretty heavy toxins in there that can be rough on the liver. Um, so we use comfrey instead um, as a pain and inflammation reducer. We use it in some salves that we make into our warming muscle rub. It also goes into our sweet relief and you can find comfrey growing on several continents um, all over Europe and here in the U.S. and here in the U.S. and Central and South America um, native tribes used it for trauma injuries and so sometimes online you'll see it called knit bone or bone seal uh, because it was used to treat bro broken bones. Um, and I have used it on broken toes, I've used it on soft tissue injuries, all sorts of things, and it really helps speed up healing tremendously. It speeds it up so much that if you have something that's broken and not set properly, it can heal it in a bad position. So you always wanna make sure if you're gonna use it for anything that might be broken, that it is properly set before you start applying Comfrey. So you can use it in a couple different ways. You can um, make a poultice out of it and put it directly onto um, the area to be treated. You can also dry it. And we used to make these cute little pillows that had dry comfrey in there and you pour some hot water on top from a tea kettle and that is a hot compress. And that can be really soothing, um, especially for kiddos, as long as you let it cool so it just gets to warm, but you can put it on bruises and things like that and it really helps take down the pain and inflammation and promote healing. Um, or you can dry it and infuse it in oil. You can put it into massage oils. Um, you can turn it into a salve. So tons of things that you can do with comfrey. And some of the other reasons why we love this plant is it's a great pollinator. It grows these beautiful purple bell-shaped tiny flowers and it attracts all kinds of pollinators, uh, butterflies and bees and hummingbirds love it here. And so this is a great plant, I think, to get into the ground now because uh, come spring, as long as you establish it now and then mulch it, cut it back when we get a freeze, you'll get a huge bloom of beautiful purple little flowers in the springtime time and it's fun to bring all sorts of wildlife to your yard and then you also have this great plant ally uh, that you can use in times of trauma for soft tissue for broken bones for bruises for strains any sort of ache and pain and so that was a little five minute snippet about our friend comfrey so if you are interested in this plant you can find a few of them left here at the shop um, at Sanctuary Holistic Kitchen. Uh, we also have it dried here if you're ever interested in just working with the dried material and how you can incorporate that into different oils and salves and things like that. And so we hope to see you around and we hope to see you growing some comfrey.